fun. Hey, everybody, welcome back to another week on WDW Event Chats Live. We're here on Facebook tonight to talk to you about Easter and Earth Day at the Disney parks. It is a beautiful weekend in Florida, I'm sure. When isn't it beautiful in Florida? We won't count the rainy days. I know. <laughs> but we're here. We're so glad that you're here with us. And we're just going to go around and introduce ourselves again. Um, Nicole, do you want to kick it off? Sure. Um, my name is Nicole Mucci, and I blog over at the Creative Stay at Home Mom, the Creative Sam. And you can find me on all my social media channels at the Creative Sam. And we love all things Disney. Um, if you guys go on there, you'll see that we love going to the parks, and we are huge fans. So awesome! And last week, Kimberly was on the back end doing comments and links. So today, she gets to be in front of the camera. So, Kimberly, tell us where we can find you online. Yes, I blog at SavvyMamaLifestyle.com, and our family uh, we're DVC members, and we love Run Disney. I'm always down there for Run Disney, and I'm based out of Atlanta. Awesome. And then we have the amazing Audrey back with us this week. Audrey, where can't we find you online? We can find you online. <laughs> Tell us I, uh, I'm, I blog over at Mom Generations. I love being a part of this. Um, my social channels are Audrey McClellan. It's just my name. And uh, we live in Rhode Island, but we love, love, love Disney. We've been a bunch of times. And I started this year doing a big Disney bounding series with my daughter. So we're trying to bring the uh, magic of Disney as best as we can to Rhode Island every week. So love talking all things Disney. Yay, we're so Yay. glad you're here. Um, I'm Andrea Updike. My blog is just as a four letter word dot com. And you can also find all my social with my name, Andrea Updike. All right. So that's everybody. We also have on the back end tonight, we have Jill Robbins from ripjeansandbifocals.com. So she'll be moderating the comments. So please leave a comment, say hello, throw us a heart, throw us a like, ask your questions. She'll be there to answer you and we'll do our best to answer also. Um, we're excited to talk about Disney holidays. Disney holidays are like one of my favorite time. I mean, I love going to Disney. I, I don't need an excuse to go, but there's just something special about a yeah. magical, right? Sure. It's extra. Yeah, yeah. So we have two this weekend. We've got Easter Sunday and then Monday is Earth Day. Mm -hmm. um, and Disney is doing a lot of really fun things about um, both of these holidays. So, uh, Nicole, do you want to tell us a little bit about some of the Easter things that we can find this weekend if we were at the Disney parks? So there is actually a lot going on. Um, if you go to the Magic Kingdom, there's the Easter Bunny meet and greet. Aww. And those are in the Town Square Courtyard. Um, so you have to be on the lookout because they're super, super cute. Um, and then I believe there's typically like a special uh, pre-parade prior to that um, in the like from 11 to 3 around in there. Mm -hmm. um, but they have like different things. They have like brightly colored flowers. It also includes uh, Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny. And you have Daisy and Thumper and Miss Bunny and all that good stuff. I love it. In the, in the little parade, like the little procession. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I've, do you guys normally do like Easter bunny pictures? Is that like, we've done Santa pictures, but we haven't yeah. really done a lot of Easter bunny pictures. It's a lot more terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that? Cause like my kids are so used to any character, but there's something about the Easter bunny that is just a little like, yeah, need to stay yeah. back. Here. <laughs> Maybe um, it's different at Disney. <laughs> yeah, I would think I think they're like a little bit more cuter. I don't know. I've seen some pictures of the Easter Bunny at the mall, and I'm like, whoa. Even I'm kind of like sketchy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, shaggy. You're possibly so shaggy and dingy, and yes. yeah. Yeah, and I make my kids do it every year. It's so funny that you said it's the first year we haven't done it. So I get to have a week. Well, not a week. I have like a couple of days to get it done. But we do it every year, and I completely. It's just like my. We've been we've been sick. So yeah, sick buddy. But, well, and Easter is really late this year. I feel like it's yeah. it's overlapping with a lot of yeah. other real life things, and it's not on its own like I feel like it normally is. Right. So, yeah, it is. So. Um. So, I mean, it's also spring break time at the Disney parks. So if someone were to be visiting um, during this weekend, we've got 
we've got some Earth Day celebrations going on at Animal Kingdom. We've got Easter. Then we've also got some spring break. What are some tips that we could share that would help make that a little bit more manageable and a little bit more fun for people that are like nervous about crowds? Kimberly? I love bringing some entertainment for the kids in the queue. There are some great online resources that you can think of ideas like bubbles, mm -hmm. um, like just little things to keep them entertained. If you have kids like that are young, my two and five year old, we can't do any line over 30 minutes. And so when the parks get crowded, we have to kind of get creative with our fast passes, maybe go to shows, take a break, have a snack, snack breaks, you know, just something to pass the time. Definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Have any of you guys used the um, the Disney Play app, that new app that they yes. launched recently? I yeah. love it. So there's this app now where you can actually, there are games on the app that you cannot access unless you're in line in a certain ride. Mm -hmm. So like if you're online for Slinky Dog, I think maybe there's a, there's a, um, there's a, a game that you can play while you're in line. I just think that is so smart. And they're like little trivia questions that you can ask. It's called the Disney Play app. And it looks kind of like that. Yeah, we it's did it. Yeah. Very cool. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And then they have other things on their maps and stuff, too, which I think that's a really cool. Really yeah. cool. I think they have like a special, they have special scavenger hunts in Epcot this weekend before yes. Easter as well. And we love those. Mm -hmm. it's and they're by ages, too. Mm -hmm. I'm ask you that because I feel like with because my oldest son is 14 but my daughter's five and when I saw that they were having the scavenger hunts that's the first thing I thought was how great that would be because that really across the age right there that age gap I feel like everybody would be into that it'd be fun yeah. like playing mm -hmm. um you know it, it literally from 14 to 5 I feel like what a great activity that is for kids to go experience and do and be part of at you know at Disney World where they're visiting. So I love that when I saw that. Mm -hmm. And is that the one where you have to like find the Easter eggs, like yeah. the little character eggs and they're kind of yeah. hidden around? I think that's so cool. Yeah. yeah. We haven't been for Easter, so I'm like making notes for, for if we ever get it down there. Well and yeah. I would call that they can have you can call ahead and have if anyone's sitting down there, you can have Easter baskets delivered into your room, which I think is so cool by the Disney I Forest. Mm -hmm. I mean that it's so great that you can have everything taken care of as a parent and you don't have to worry about it when you're traveling. I think that's yeah. genius because we're traveling this weekend and I completely forgot about Easter baskets. Like <laughs> I had a friend ask me, so are you guys going to do Easter baskets when you're out of town? And I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, but I love I love that idea. It would make it so much easier to not even have to think about it. Disney thinks of everything. So my favorite, one of my favorite parts of Easter is brunch. Like I'm a brunch girl. Yes. And if you're there's the let's see and their coasties and the california grill have brunch options now and then disney springs has some great brunch options as well and i definitely call ahead and make reservations and see what's available yes i was drooling over some pictures on the um disney parks blog earlier this week with those disney springs brunch options brunch is like the best meal of the day yes. like, I don't understand yeah. why we don't have you know, a Bloody Mary with our midday breakfast. Every day. <laughs> Why is that? Um, yeah, the brunch and then the snacks. They just posted um, again on the Disney Parks blog just tonight, mm -hmm. a couple hours ago, the most amazing snack options in both Disney World and Disneyland um, and Disney Springs and all the places. And there are the cutest cupcakes and cookies and desserts and sweets yes. that are oh, specifically yeah. for Easter. I'm a sucker for a cute snack. Like, oh, I love that. If it's cute, I'm gonna buy it. I don't even care really what it tastes like. And of course, it's gonna be good. But like, yeah. it's all about how cute it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, Audrey, it. we're big snackers in this group. What's your favorite snack? We need to know. What's my favorite snack? Disney snack. Disney snack. You know what? I would probably say, hands down, is the Mickey the ice cream sandwiches. That's like the only thing that I, that I that I could have probably 10 of those in a day. They're so good. And I love that you're a sandwich person because most people say Mickey bar. No, I, I just like, like the sandwiches. sandwiches too. That's their favorite. I like the sandwiches. And uh, yeah, it's like one treat that I really don't even eat when I'm home. But when I'm there, I love it. I absolutely love it. So that's my go-to. And yeah. as the yeah. weather warms up. I have up, to say, right now, man, oh. some of the snacks that I'm seeing that is like, coming for Easter, I'm like, oh my gosh, I could eat that. I could eat that. Look at that 
that ganache egg, you know, yes. stuff like that. They're going to be all over Instagram. There was one that was a caramel apple chick. So, so good. So cute. Oh, I bet that one's cute. So we were there for St. Patrick's Day at Disney Springs just during the day. And I went to the Amaretz Patisserie and they always have the best macarons and they do them for holidays. So like when I was there for St. Patrick's day, it was like a little green macaron with a shamrock and a little top hat. Oh, and, a stick. Yeah. And, they are, and I saw that they're doing them for Easter. They have like a little bunny and a little chick coming out of the egg macaron. And they are oh, so, I love that. so cute. Yeah. That's what I would get if I were there this weekend for sure. <laughs> oh, I love that idea. I'm gonna have to check that out. Do they, so I could find those online too, right? Maybe, I know you can order them like they also do larger cakes and you can order ahead, but they don't deliver like to the top. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, unfortunately don't deliver home. Oh my I God. Know, I know. I know. It's so great though. It's right behind, um, it's like behind world of Disney and le the Lego store and it is like my it's favorite. Hidden gem. Oh, I have to check those out. Absolutely. Yeah. So there is another spring event that's coming up right after Easter, right after um, <laughs> Earth Day that we forgot to mention. I think and we've lost Kimberly. It's Dapper Day. Kimberly, can you reboot? We lost, uh, somebody lost you. Let's see, can you hear me? I can hear you, but Nicole can't hear you. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know. It's been happening to us. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> we'll come back to your comment in just a second, but Kimberly's going to tell us about Dapper Day in just a minute. Um, but I did want to say about, um, about the Easter activities is that don't forget to go to your resort and see what kind of snacks they have because each resort will have different snacks yeah. and different themed cupcakes and they'll only be there for like this weekend. So if you see one that you like, um, get it because they're only going to be around for a few days. They change them out in the resorts and they're different at every resort. So if you resort hop, make sure to check the cupcakes and see what they are. That's oh, that's a good idea. Too. Yeah, they're really good. Can everybody see Kimberly again? Now, now I can hear. Yay. Yay. All right. So you were going to tell us about Dapper Day. Yeah, I was just going to say right after this weekend, Dapper Day starts at Walt Disney World. So this is like a really it's going to be a busy, but very fun time at Disney right now. So I think they're in full gear for spring and you'll see a lot of people starting to come down and prep for Dapper Day as well. I love That's Dapper great. Day. It's not something I've ever participated in, but it's probably my favorite event to follow because everyone like goes all out with these gorgeous dresses, it's kind of a forties, thirties theme with like the pinup curl hair and, um, just amazing Disney bound costumes. And I just think it's the coolest thing. I would love to get down there for one It is, we have yet to do it, but it's it's crazy that it's, it's gonna be right after um, Earth Day. It's happening next week as well. Okay, because they, the, they just did it at Disneyland last yeah. week. Yeah. So they're not always on the same. And so if you search that, hashtag um, Dapper Day, if you're going to be yeah. at Disney World, you can see all the stuff from Disneyland last weekend. <laughs> and I did just see a bunch of people because I'm literally obsessed with Disney bounding. But there's a bunch of um, women sharing what they, with the actual, the costumes they got for that day. So I yeah. went over to Amazon and literally, like, all I did was like, you just do like an easy search of our Amazon and there's tons of options. So if you are going to be there or not, I'm not yeah. going to be there. And I was looking for clothes. So um, there's gorgeous options there. It would be so great for you to do a Dapper Day Disney Bound yeah. for your. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to find Instagram. something that would work for both of us. But I saw mm -hmm. I saw so many people talking about it, and so yeah. I went over to Amazon because that's where they said they got their um a lot of their pieces. They're, they they kind of like putting things together, but they were amazing and really reasonable too. I mean, that's, that's like going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Amazon is like a treasure. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what I would do without Amazon. Where I get all my costumes. Everything. I know. And anytime I get an ad, like an Instagram or on Facebook or something, and I see what the product is, I always go to Amazon because I would much rather just buy it from there if I can find it. We need to have our own Dabber Day on here. You know what I'm saying? Like all, all of us need to get dressed up. I love it. From As here up. <laughs> <laughs> So Monday is also Earth Day. So we've got Easter on Sunday. We've got Earth Day on Monday. And I don't know, Earth Day for me has sort of evolved 
over the years, I never really thought about it much, but in the last few years, I've really fallen in love with Earth Day and Animal Kingdom Park was actually, their opening day was Earth Day. So they always have a really big celebration every time, um, every Earth Day. And now the past 10 years or so, Disney Nature uh, Films has come out with a new um, mm -hmm. nature film, documentary style, but still has a little Disney magic. And uh, this year is Penguins. So cute. Which I love. So, so um, have any of you gone to Animal Kingdom for their anniversary slash Earth Day? Or do you have any Earth Day tips that we can share with anyone who might be there? Well, I was going to say we saw Penguins um, and we fell in love with that movie. It was hilarious. I love Ed Helms. I think he's funny. Yeah. And I think him narrating this movie was fantastic. My kids were laughing. I was laughing. I fell in love with Steve. So if, if you guys are looking for something to do for Earth Day besides the party, definitely go see the movie because mm -hmm. it is amazing. But yeah, I have been to um, the Animal Kingdom. I actually went for um, the anniversary, the 20th anniversary. And mm -hmm. That was really, really cool. And Rafiki's Planet always has really cool stuff for Earth Day. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they're all about conservation and they talk about, you know, that really heavily. So yeah. um, I would definitely head to Animal Kingdom for sure. Yeah, they call it Party for the Planet. And it's really a park wide celebration and it's all weekend long. So it's not just on Earth Day. I think it's I think it's Saturday, Sunday and Monday where you can do some special stuff all around the park. Um, and we have a link for that for uh, that's on the Disney Disney World website with all the different information. You can meet Joe Rohde, who is one of the most amazing um, Imagineers who's behind a lot of the productions of things like Pandora, some stuff in Disneyland. Um, and the other cool thing that I saw that that looks amazing. And I've seen these kinds of sculptures before. I haven't seen this particular one, but they have an 11 foot penguin that is constructed entirely out of debris from the ocean. Oh, so yeah. it's like made of trash from the ocean. And it's like this gorgeous piece of artwork, but then it's also really stunning because it's so huge. And it just reminds us to take a little bit better care of, of our world. And mm -hmm. we also screened um, penguins this week and my kids and I laughed. I mean, Nicole's totally right. It's hilarious. And, we were like looking at each other, like, you know how when something's so funny, you want to see what the person next to you is like. <laughs> yeah. like we were we were doing that back for I was in between my two boys and we were like this all the <laughs> time. It's, like, it's so cute. Um and one last thing I want to say is if you go to Penguins between the this first week, so today's opening day, if you go in the first week, then part of your ticket price, Disney will donate to conservation. Uh -huh. I think that's really cool. Okay, okay, so I have to add about Disney Penguins and Disney. Yeah, film. I think that's really awesome that you're doing that stuff. Um, and I also did want to say, like, if you are looking for Easter services while you're at the parks, they do offer that. Um, and they're doing that um, at the Contemporary Resort in the Fantasia Ballroom. Oh. So, um, you know, if, oh. you're staying, if you're staying at the resort and you want to enjoy Easter services, you can. Um, awesome. So that's, that's really, cool. really cool. Yeah. Um, so I would definitely check that out for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they just have so much going on all over the place. Like, if you're wanting to celebrate, they're going to let you, they're going to give you away. <laughs> like, yeah. you could just yeah. go and ride rides all the time and not even think about it. But yeah. I love that there's so many little detailed things here and there. Yeah. I love that. Sure. And, you know, I want to say one thing about Earth Day, too, because I know that we said, you know, what kind of things do you guys do? We always will plant a tree every Earth Day. I love that. I mean, they don't, they don't, I mean, they've, some of them have grown, but we, we moved in the last couple of years. So this is um, a new place for us. We planted at my mom's house last year. And this year we'll obviously, you know, we'll find a place to plant it. But, you know, I think that's one way that, you know, you have little kids, big kids. It's just one way of showing them that by planting this tree, regardless of where you are in the world, 10 years or 20 years from now, you'll be able to hopefully go back and see what you planted. So if that. you are looking for any, cause I, you know, we are talking about being at, you know, Disney and being at Animal Kingdom and, you know, talk about like the best place to be to like 
engage, connect, and be part of nature. Because a lot of people don't have that ability. You know, if you live in a city, you don't know what that's like to really be in this universe where you can just connect and be part of this spectacular world. So to be yeah, in the kingdom, I want to, like ha hearing you guys talk about it, and Nicole, you see that you've been, I'm like, wow, I like want to be there one of these days. How yeah. amazing would that be, you know, for Earth Day? Yeah, yeah. I know, it's, it's such a cool thing. And I just love how they, how they put it out in the forefront. You know, it's mm -hmm. like, we're going to a theme park, we're on vacation, but wow, look at this big piece of art. Oh, wow, it came from trash, you know? Like, it's just, I love how it kind of stops you in your tracks. Um, it makes you makes you really think about that. Kimberly, did you want to say something about penguins? Yes, okay, so if you have young kids, Disney nature films are the best to introduce them to their first movie experience because the animals, like every little kid loves animals and they're very pulled in and engaged to the film. They're shorter films and it's the perfect way to introduce your child to a theater experience. It was my oldest son's first theater experience and I thought it was the best way to bring him to movies for the first time. Oh, yeah. That's a really good point. And I, you know, I think Disney nature specifically is, does a really good job of taking some of the nature out. <laughs> like they're, they're not scary. They're not, mm -hmm. you know, the big cheetah eats the big zebra and it's blood everywhere. Like you might see on some TV show, you know, like they yeah, do. They, you crap it. Right? they give you a little <laughs> sense of danger. So, you know, okay, there are predators, but mm -hmm. And especially in penguins, like I, I think it's great for kids of all ages. Like it, there were a couple mm -hmm. moments where it felt you got nervous. Yeah, yeah. It, it never like went too far. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I yeah. totally agree. I totally agree. And then the other thing I was gonna say too, you know, if you are staying at the resorts for Easter, this is a great time. Um, you know, because especially at, like if you could take the monorail to the Grand Floridian, they have amazing Easter eggs on display that you know it's great to do especially to wind down at night and just kind of like observe with the family and kind of look at that you know they have some really cute i even saw they have like a toy story one um you know there's some really cute ones um this year they have like a moana one um so there's definitely um you know you can check that out um i believe the disney beach club resort has them the Contemporary Resort and Bama at uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom um, also has a, a couple of them on display. I want to say, I, I might be wrong about this, but I feel like I remember someone saying that chocolate and like it smells really, really good when you walk in. Like yeah. you can just smell Ooh. all the chocolate. Mm -hmm. If I'm wrong about that, don't tell me because I like that, <laughs> that imaginary thing in my mind. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Yeah. You know, one thing we just did too, we actually, and I meant to grab it because I did see when I was reading about, you know, celebrating Easter there, you could go to Build-A-Bear and you could actually create a bunny oh, there. Um, and my daughter and I did that last week. We actually went because she wants to bring a bunny with her. So if you're looking for other activities, you kind of want a little downtime, you know, you've kind of done the parks, you want to maybe go walk around with your friends, go to Disney Spring, you want to do something a little different, just like tossing that out as another option. You know, I know mm -hmm. that that's one thing that my kids love to do, but also to kind of bring in that Easter feel if you have any yeah. other kids. Um, even my 12 year old, he would kill me if he knew I was saying this, but he made a bunny too. So oh, yeah. <laughs> that's old. It's always fun. Right? He loves it. He's like holding the heart, making the wish. So if you're looking to do something a little bit more too, like different, but on the Easter side of things, that's always yeah. a great activity. We had a lot of fun doing that. I'm all about the merch. <laughs> you have told me back. I'm like, Disney merch, I need to have it. And they have like the little Mickey plush now that's like dressed up for Easter with the bunny ears and all kinds of cute stuff. Well, um, and I'd be scared. I'd be like, take all my money, take it all. I'm broke. <laughs> I mean, I need to get the Disney shop Disney app off my phone because like when that's what I do when I'm bored I just sit there and scroll and I'm like I'll just add that to my cart come back to it later before I know it I'm like what did I do okay so yeah. speaking of shop Disney, the I, was, boy. I was at you the know? Disney store today and now through Sunday they have an in-store scavenger hunt for five dollars where oh. you look for easter eggs in store and once you find all the easter eggs you turn it in and you get a little easter egg that ha mini mickey easter egg that has a prize in it oh my at, god this at, the disney, at this at the mall at the disney oh, store at your local disney store oh, that's awesome that's amazing. we're gonna so have to check that out experience a little magic at home if you can't make it to the parks 
that's amazing that. to know. Oh my gosh, yes. That is such a good idea. I just love, I just love all of it. Wow. <laughs> I'm, such a sap. I'm such a sap. I love all of it. Um, guys, this is not Easter related, but I have to talk about it. I have to. Did you see any of the coverage today of the gondola system, the inside of the gondolas? No. Yeah. So I saw a little bit. I saw a little bit and I was like, oh. So the local paper in Orlando ran a story this morning. I think it was this morning. Maybe it was yesterday, actually. But anyway, and then it's on the Disney blog now. But they finally have released pictures of the inside of the gondola. And you guys have to go look at these pictures because it was so, like, I knew there was going to be seating inside, but they made it look like a wooden park bench. Like, oh. it is so Disney. I, I was floored. I was just like, oh, look at the just like I who gets excited about benches but for some reason it was so perfect and I was just like it's park benches oh my god I, I want to go look right now <laughs> you have to go look yeah. I'm excited to do the gondola anyway but like when I saw that I was just like it can't get here fast enough so yeah I saw them go through the new Riviera resort that's opening up as well yeah it's mm -hmm. it's it's gonna be awesome and they released if you look at the um the article on the Orlando Sentinel, that's where the main one was. They give the times for how long it's going to take to get places. And some of it is like, it's between five and 15 minutes to get from your hotel to a park where, where they are. So like if you start, I think the farthest is probably Pop Century, Art of Animation. Mm -hmm. You start there, like the max time to get somewhere, either Hollywood Studios or Epcot is going to be 15 minutes, which is not bad at all when you're, you don't have to park, you don't have to get on a bus, you know. Bus wait time, yeah. I mean, you can wait like 15, 30 minutes for a bus. So I think that's right. Really and it's a continuously moving thing that's like, if you have a wheelchair or you need assistance, they kind of, I, I think, what I, what I, if I read it right, they kind of will take it offline so that the main one keeps going. And oh then my God, that's great. Back in. How many people are they saying will fit in one again? 10. So Up it is 10. 10. That's yeah. amazing, okay. It looks so much bigger than I was expecting. Like, you, yeah. I mean, they look decent size, but when they had the doors open and you could see the benches, I was really surprised at the amount of room. Wow. I can't wait to check this out. I know. You have to go. You have to go. Oh. Look at it. I know. I have to overcome my fear of heights because that's one thing that's kind of like deterring me is like the height thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's not always really high. Like, sometimes it's lower and then it goes up higher to go over, you know, traffic. Yeah, I know. Nicole's like, that's not helping me. Yeah. <laughs> it's just up and down. Yeah. You were like, I mean, sometimes it's low and then it's high. <laughs> yeah, I know. Really go. I, know. Um, I know we're running out of time, but I want to encourage you guys to join us next Wednesday because we are talking about Endgame, you guys. We are talking about you know, the moment that we have all been waiting for, for the past year. And so I'm so excited. Um, we're going to have some amazing prizes up for grabs during that show. So you want to make sure and tune in because you can win some stuff. I mean, I don't even know what we're getting yet, but I, I'm just excited about it. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys definitely have to tune in next Wednesday for that because we'll be talking about, you know, our conclusions, what we think is going to happen, you know, um, and what we expect to happen. And of course, you know, whether we're going to get up to go pee in those three hours or not. <laughs> no. um, nope. yeah. <laughs> drinks. Nobody gets a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my bring, goodness. Like, gummies that we can suck on or something. Smuggle in some orange slices. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is crazy. Oh my God. All right. Well, I think that wraps it us, wraps it up for tonight. Um, you guys, I hope you all have an awesome Easter. If you're traveling yeah. or yeah. in the parks or you're heading to the Disney store or you're staying at home, I hope you have a great Easter, a great Earth Day. And hi, sweetie. Oh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week when we talk about Endgame. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you guys next week. Bye. She says she loves Disney. She wants you to know. Aww, we love Disney. <laughs> I love Disney. <laughs>